In this video we're going to give you an overview of the significant time and cost savings that can be made by maintaining and creating your work instructions directly within Timer Pro. You can see in the flowchart here the work instruction module is basically coming off of the process analysis and balancing module here. I'm going to say I want to open up one of my current processes. So I'm going to say open balance. I'm going to go here and I'm going to find my work instructions here. So here I've got my work instruction demo. TP means Time of Pro is maintaining it and we're currently on revision 5005. This means we can go all the way up to revision 999 here and you'll see how it automatically maintains these revisions as we go forward here. So I'm going to open up my current revision, revision 5, and it brings it up here and puts it on the screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my view here to my ergonomics view. Now, uh, what this is doing is showing me where the ergonomic stresses might be in my process. So let's say I'm responsible for this particular process and I'm working in this area right now. The red means there's a dangerous condition, so we might want to look at that. So we come over here and we double click here. And what it does is it opens up the, the body map and we can play back the video and see what's wrong here. Now in this example, the problem is that the machine is too low down. Would really like to raise his machine up so this fellow doesn't have to bend down all day long putting a stress on his back here so what we're going to do is i'm just going to exit out of this and i'm going to switch back to my value added non-value added which is the default view here and it goes back to here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click on the same activity again now notice i'm in the task stack parts and i'm going to click on remove two moldy parts so i point at the same activity I double click and I give it a couple of seconds and it opens up the work instructions for this. Now you'll notice in the background here that I was in revision 005, TP underscore 005. It's automatically found the appropriate Excel sheet here. Not only that, it's found the exact task, which was my stack parts. Again, remember I was down here on the stack parts and it's found the exact activity. My remove two moldy parts right here. So there's a direct link between the process and the Excel sheet itself. I'm going to open this up now and now I'm going to play back the video again. So I double click here and it plays the video in my viewer here. And what I want to do is I want to grab an image of this guy bending down. So we just at the beginning here, we're going to take it here. I'm just going to click on my snapshot right there. I click on it and I get it and I close this. I'm going to hit the right button. I'm going to paste that in here. So you can see what it's done. It's taken an image of the screen here. It's put a little label on it here in case you wonder what it is. And then we can bring it down. I can shrink it right down here. And let's say I'm going to put a note in here for myself to remind me, I say, Doug, we need to raise this machine. Now, that typing is so small here that we're probably never going to see it. So we're in Excel, so why not just use the standard Excel features here? We'll make the font, we'll maybe make it, uh, let's say, 18 font, and we'll make it bold. And that way I'm not about to forget uh, what I'm seeing here, okay? Now, just when, a reminder, when, and this will be covered in more parts of the video section here, but you can have any number of rows at the top can be customized for your organization. Any number of columns on the left can be customized for your organization. You can see we're doing the clever stuff in here. Uh, I've already got a video here. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, pictures, I get part numbers, arrows and icons and notes. So I'm not going to be too thrilled if my boss comes along and changes this on me, but that's what we're going to emulate happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this here and I'm going to close out it. Now let's say a week later my boss comes in and says, Doug, we've got to make some changes. And he tells me, take this guy here that removed two moldy parts and drag it over here and drop it into the handle assembly. That will allow us to move this guy up here, which will allow us to move this guy up here which will allow us to add a new activity here. So I'll say, added per my boss, so I know where it coming, comes from. Right, I'll say, how long does it take? And he may say, I'll give him 22 seconds. Now remember, you can work in minutes, seconds, or hours here. I click on it. So now when I have a new version of the process, and he says to me, now can you update the work instructions? That would normally be a very tedious and time-consuming task. But now with Timer Pro, it's a lot easier here. All we do is we come in here, we go to the summary here, and I say I want to update my work instructions again here. So I click on the work instructions. There will be a list of all different reports I can have available. We can have multiple reports here. The one I want is my work instructions. So I click on it here, and I select my browse. And I'm going to find the current revision, which is revision 5. You can see it matches with the one on the background here. I click on the OK. Now I've got revision 5 in Excel here, down here in this task here. And I've got revision 5 in the background. I'm going to click on the OK here. And I want you to watch the 005 at the top here. When I click on it now, 
it instantly changes to 006. And what it's going to do is going to create a new revision of the work instructions. It's going to be called 006 here. Now I get this prompt from Excel. There's no way around it with uh, 2010. So it says data may exist. It's selected sheets and they're going to be deleted. So I'm going to say delete here because I want it to create a new one from here. So what it's doing is deleting the current data and then it's figuring out what changed between revision 5 and 6. It's preserving revision 5. It's not changing it at all. It's going to put together the new process based upon the moves that I made within my uh, uh, balance chart here. So give it a few seconds and we'll start dumping the data in here. And there it goes. So it's actually looking what was in 5 and what's in 6 and figuring out how to rebuild it for you here. It's moving through each of the operations and turn down at the bottom here. Now the one that I put it into was in my handle assembly which is a couple of operations away yet. So I'm just letting it fill this in here. Okay, the next one up is my handle assembly. See it putting it in here. Now watch for the pictures going in here. There go the pictures. You can even see the notes down at the bottom here that I put for myself. Doug, we need to raise the machine here. So not only is it moving the data around according to the moves that I made in my balance chart, but it's going to create one additional sheet at the end here. And that sheet's going to come up in a moment here. You can see it putting it together now. It's called TP dash changed. This is what Timer Pro changed. So this is your revision history that shows you what you actually moved here during this particular session here. And if I could just let it finish here. Okay, and then what I can do is I can come down here and you can see here it's telling me here's my element was moved from stack parts to handle assembly. And it's taken a copy of that uh, element and put everything in here including the, the snapshot and the note I put in there for myself. So if I go back to the handle assembly, sure enough it's in there pixel for pixel where I wanted it to go. Now, I don't know if you tried cutting and pasting things like arrows and icons around in Excel. It's not quite as easy as it seems. So this is saving you a tremendous amount of time here. Other things that will pick up, for instance, here's element added to task mount wheels. Added per my boss, a value of 22. So I go back over here to mount wheels. Here's added per my boss and a value of 22. So it's basically recording all of the changes that are made here in this revision sheet. It's bumped the revision for me and I now can continue uh, developing and manipulating the process as required as I go through the life cycle of the product. Now obviously the amount of time that can be saved in creating and maintaining your work instructions with Timer Pro can be significant indeed. Uh, so again, if you come back to the flowchart of the product, you can see what the work instructions are directly off our process analysis and balancing module right here.